see this? This is the soggy end of a paper straw. This is the swimming pool equipment. This is the sand filter. It's an older filter. Okay. The water pressure gauge is older. We've got some leaks at the filter connection. This looks like it might be newer, but the gauge wasn't. And we're leaking. You can see it leaking all down here, all around there. This is the straw I was telling you about. This is your backflow for your. You do not have. I guess you got a vacuum breaker for the drain because it just goes out to the air. Check with your municipality. This arrangement isn't that unusual. It doesn't make it right. It's, it's a common workaround. My next door neighbor has a similar arrangement. They just bought that house. I didn't inspect it. <laughs> okay. So here we are at 30 PSI. Our valves are not labeled. Our valves are not labeled. It looks like we've got a newer pump motor. But I can't find any data on the pump itself. The pump looks older. Our water supply does not have a vacuum breaker on it. This is our timer control. It would be better if it was sealed, but it's over to the side. I'm so for that. I'm coming in here. Our dead front cover plate is missing and the gears are turning inside that little hole so that tells us that our timer is actually working. I like the way they have the pump sitting up on just a couple pieces of rock. It's kind of neat. Okay, moving on along. I triangulated the water level. This is a vinyl line pool and I triangulated the water level and it's about between five and six inches deep at all places. So the water's always level, but the shell looks like it's level. We've got a single drain, and that drain may be ANSI compliant. I cannot tell. Uh, new construction, we have two drains. A single drain, that could be an entrapment issue, unless that's a, an approved cover. Coming along, the vinyl looks like it's in pretty good shape, but the mastic sealer around the edges, it costs a little money to do a mastic sealer telling you that and our mastic sealer hadn't been addressed then we came in at one time there was a diving board I always recommend no diving boards okay so I'm happy about that we got an electric cable just coming up out of the ground here look at that what's that for Is that to step on you know people stepping on your electric cables I don't want them stepping on mine okay so was it was that for the lights all swimming pools should have a light inside of them so that you can see the floor, the bottom of the pool. If it's in the middle of the night and it's a critical emergency situation and you need to locate somebody real fast, you need to see the bottom of the swimming pool. It could save somebody's life. Okay. I saw this. Oh, the sweeper's working. There it goes. So the pool, diving board has been removed, which is a good thing. <clears throat> but we do not have electric light. We do not have an electric receptacle out here so that people can work on the pool. They had to bring extension cords all the way out from the patio to operate the cleaner or to do any kind of work to the pool. Within 10 feet of the pool, we should have an electric receptacle outlet. Maybe that was an electric receptacle outlet. But regardless, we do not have, we do not have a light at the bottom of the pool. Now, because, well, let's just see how this works. This receptacle outlet over here is not GFCI protected. In fact, I haven't found an operable receptacle outlet. Okay, so that's not an extension cord. It's supposed to be plugged in like that. Okay, I feel a little better about that. Watch out for these steps in this low rail. If I'm going to run to the pool, I'm going to jump. I am going to knock myself silly on that. So just watch out. We got a little erosion around here a little bit this form is going to rot we've got one drain one skimmer 
Plastic skimmer should be replaced every couple years. Is that plastic? Okay, because they get brittle and they break. And then it's a homeowner's insurance policy for a broken ankle or whatever. Okay, there's our there's our uh, purifying system. We got some uh, chlorine cakes in there. Okay. And uh, let's see what we got over here. Okay. We do have a weird trap. And that's a good thing. But our pool is high. Why is our pool so high? The skimmer is completely covered. Why why is it filled up so high? Means it was filled up recently, right? Uh, filled up recently? These pools will evaporate. They will take some water. You don't really have steps coming out of this because it's a vinyl pool and it's kind of hard to mold them in, so you've got a ladder like this. We used to have a diving board. I know that we've got a deep end. When you have a deep pool, you're supposed to have a minimum of two exits. So that somebody's out here swimming and they get tired, they make it to the edge and they get some steps and they get a ladder to get or somebody can get in. But anyway, somewhere along the line, it was decided that we should have two two separate ladders, two separate sets of steps, two separate entrances and exits in a deep water pool. This gets replaced about every three years. All of the windows and all of the doors that open to the swimming pool area should be self-closing and they should have a unique alarm on them so that if you're upstairs ironing and you hear that alarm, you know, somebody came out into the swimming pool area. I'm not even sure if this chain link fence, and I'm pretty sure that it does, but I'm not positive this chain link fence meets, you know, the requirements to close in a swimming pool. Uh, I know that my neighbors have an eight foot chain link fence. Okay, this is a four foot chain link fence. Maybe this fence isn't high enough. This fence was installed inside out. So the rails are on the other side of the fence. Somebody could use the rails to climb over and come into the swimming pool area. This door should be self-closing. This door should not swing out into the swimming pool area. It should swing away from the swimming pool area and be self-closing. And of course, the alarms are self-closing. The alarms are self-closing. Four-foot cyclone fence. Okay. I guess I'll do some homework.